my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room where I got a lot done this week so I'm going to jump right in and start telling you all about it. And the first thing I want to tell you about is this. But before I tell you about that, I have to show you this little skirt that I'm wearing. It has a very cool yoke thing going on here with some pockets. It's a Vogue pattern. It's Vogue 9112 from some unknown point in time because Vogue didn't date their patterns. It's probably the 1980s. And I made this out of an old curtain. Um, I think there were two panels to it and I didn't have enough for the whole, you know, skirt. So I, I shortened view A, which was this one, and I just made do. This pattern, I did a review on it and oh my gosh, what a mess. I just, I couldn't get over. What a mess that Vogue made of that pattern and I ended up making changes anyway. So I didn't have anything to go with it because of course I didn't have anything to go with it. I am so notorious for making things like bottom weight things like pants or, well, not pants usually, but skirts. And I never have anything to go with them. Or I make tops and I don't have anything to wear with those. So, mm. so I knew I had this linen and I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna make a top to go with that skirt because by golly, I was gonna wear this skirt. <laughs> I really wanted to wear it. So I found this linen in my stash. Uh, I had gotten it at Joann's a couple of years ago. And I had, I went through my whole pattern stash and I found Simplicity 2936. And I made this one, which I forget is view B, I think. And I'll do a pattern review on it because I got it finished and then I needed to tweak it. And I thought I would show you the tweaks that I made when I fixed it. Uh, nothing major, but um, I'm just so pleased with this. I just, I love everything about it, so. Yeah, I also finished a pink nightgown that I had started. It's knit, it's a pointel knit. Thank you, Helen from Stitch Rip Repeat. She's also a Friday sewer, you should check her out. I'll put her up in the cards. And uh, she told me what that fabric was because I said it's kind of like an eyelet. I had totally forgotten about pointel. It's exactly what it was. I made McCall's uh, 3400, I did this one. The pattern is not made for knits, but I adapted it and it worked great. And now I have another nightgown, which I love. Uh, let's see. I, uh, okay, let's shift over to life because I got a visit from my eldest daughter earlier this week. She stayed for a couple of days and yesterday we went to Salvation Army because she and I had a couple of political discussions. But uh, one of them was the fact that Goodwill, that corporation has kind of, I wouldn't say gone off the rails, but they are not the most admirable when it comes to charities. So we decided we would find a Salvation Army and go there. And I've always liked Salvation Army because they always tend to have um, things like patterns and fabric and that kind of thing. Anyway, so she and I went to Salvation Army and we got some things. Okay, before I tell you about what I got, I want to remind you, as Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery and Haley from Halesmore Sewing also reminded me, it's okay to buy clothing. It's okay. I tend to want to look at something and go, I don't want to pay that. I don't know why I say that because, you know, I'm probably going to pay at least that much to make it. Or I see something that's a designer thing and I think, well, I could make that. Or I see something that I could potentially thrift, which is usually how I buy my clothes. And I think, mm, no, you can, you sew, you sew your clothing. Well, you know what? You don't always have to. It's not like a requirement if you own a sewing machine that you have to make all of your clothes. Now I am pretty committed to making my clothes. And I make a lot of my clothes because I can make exactly what I want. So, okay, but it's all right. You don't get a failing grade if you buy a piece of clothing. Probably you know that, but I have to remind myself of that from time to time. Okay, so Salvation Army um, trip. 
I found this, or she found this actually, and um, it is so the cottage core style that her twin sister Emma loves. So it is uh, dotted Swiss with these little pom pom trim, and oh, it's so cute, isn't it? We took a picture of it and texted it to her, and she said, I love it, but I don't love the color. So I looked at McKenna and I said, you know what? I think maybe we could dye this. So of course I texted my sewing sister, Michelle, from Michelle Sews Again, and uh, she is a master at ice dyeing. And I said, okay, what do you think? Could I dye this blue and get maybe a beautiful green? And she said, well, I don't know, maybe. Would depend on the color blue you used. So I figured I could try dyeing it, and if I didn't get the color I liked, I could always dye it black, or I could just give it to one of her sisters. So that is uh, one thing that I got. Okay, two more things I got. I got some more things, but I won't bother to show them to you. But I got, you know, fabric-y kind of things. And of course, I bought a sheet. Of course I did. And I bought a shower curtain. And so here's the thing. I went to put these in the washer and totally, you know, I don't know, attack them with bleach and oxy and hot water and hot dryer and the whole nine yards. And so I washed them four times. Uh, the first time with bleach, the second time with oxy, the third time with oxy. And the fourth time, just with plain old hot water and detergent, I use detergent every time, but just the, you know, plain detergent. And then I put them in a very hot dryer and everything ought to be dead on them. There shouldn't be no traces of anything. Well, bonus, this pair of cropped uh, jeans, I love them. And I had gotten something on them. I don't even know what it was. It looked like oil, it was yellow orangey colored and I had washed them with oxy. I soaked them and they didn't, it didn't come out. It was faded, but it didn't come out. And so I uh, treated it again with Dawn dishwashing liquid and hydrogen peroxide, which is an excellent combination. Anytime you have to get any kind of a stain out, it really works. So I tried that and it got a little bit lighter, but not light enough. So you know what I thought? I'll just throw this, I'll throw these in with these two things that I really need to, you know, wash the heck out of. And the stain came out. Yes. So win, bonus win. Okay, the sheet I got is this one. It's just a twin size and uh, it's just cotton, 100% cotton. And I like the colors. I, I think it's a little muted for me, but you know, I liked the colors and I thought, well, It'll either make a cute top or I will use it for a muslin. So I might do that. The other thing I got was a shower curtain because of course I got a shower curtain. Of course I did. This is like a canvas actually, like a home deck canvas, but I love the colors, blue and gray and white. I just, oh, I love that. Wouldn't this look beautiful in a bathroom? Actually, it might be really pretty to use as a shower curtain. Um, but I already have shower curtains. I'm good on shower curtains. So I thought this would make a good, either a skirt or a pair of cropped pants. So we'll see. You know, one thing, well, you know what? I need to do this, don't I? One thing I do know is that it definitely doesn't have any bad stuff on it because man, how could it? How could it? I believe I've, I've pretty much killed everything. And then I know you are free to rebuke me, to, you know, tell me again, Jen, why are you buying patterns? I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, at least I'm honest. Uh, they didn't have very many at Salvation Army, but I found two that I liked and they were only 49 cents. And I thought, okay, well, one, actually they're both staples that, you know, everybody should have in their pattern collection. And the other two were gifted to me. And the other two were two that I found on the Facebook uh, pattern stash buy and sell group. So I'll start with those. Uh, I don't buy patterns on there because I don't need any more patterns, but I do collect Laura Ashley. And anytime I see a Laura Ashley pattern on there, I usually will try and grab it. So I did, this is McCall 6024 and it is from 2010. 
and it's just, it's Laura Ashley. You know, I'm such a sucker for Laura Ashley. Well, when I am gonna buy something, I always look at everything else that that seller has listed in that post. And that way, if I want something, I won't pay as much postage and might be worth it. So I found New Look 6237, which is from some unknown point in time. Thank you to New Look for never baiting your patterns. But it's a blouse and a skirt. And this is a gourd skirt, but it has like a trumpet hem, a trumpet shape. See how it flares out? And that blouse. Oh, I love that blouse. I gotta make this blouse. I gotta do that sometime soon because that's just beautiful. So it has six sizes in one, which is pretty much standard for new look. They often will put all the sizes in. So the, that's two. The two I found at uh, Salvation Army yesterday were McCall 7061, which is from oh, 2014. It's pajamas. Well, kind of. It's hoodies and joggers and, you know, comfy clothes. This. This is a staple kind of a pattern that everybody should have, um, or, or maybe already does have, because it's just such a smart thing to keep in your pattern stash. Especially, I mean, you don't have to have very many patterns to want a pattern like this to keep, because you'll probably make it over and over. I got these two from my good friend, Sharon, and I received those from her because she and Carmen Salome and I are gonna do a challenge where we use a pattern and the notions and the fabric uh, from a Walmart bundle that we send each other. So um, I will share those with you when we get closer to the time that we're going to share what we did with them. But Sharon sent me these two patterns. The first is Simplicity 9271. It's separates and uh, it has elastic waist pants with pockets, very loose fitting a cardigan and a tank top. And this is all exactly the way I live, except that mostly I wear dresses, but you know, if I'm gonna wear pants, I'm gonna wear these kind of pants. So this is from this year and it's just a great pattern and just staples, you know, staples. I love the pockets on the cardigan. I love that tank top. I love it all, I do. So it's gonna be fun to make that with the stuff that Sharon sent me. The other thing she sent me was from 1981, and it is sundresses. And look, oh, she knows me so well. Look at this nautical, the sailor kind of thing. Oh, I love that. I'm such a sucker for that. This is the cutest set of sundresses. Oh, and I will be making them. I will definitely be making them. I didn't even look at this size, 12, so I'll have to make a few adjustments, but yeah probably not too many. So our topic for this week is what is the nicest thing that anyone has ever said to you about your sewing? Well, I had to really think about this one. I really thought, what's one that stands out to me in my mind? And I remembered right after I got married, I had been sewing a lot and I, it was summertime and I didn't have kids yet. And my husband and I were with my parents. And I was wearing a rayon uh, camp shirt that I had made. And my mom looked at that and she said, did you make that? And I said, uh-huh. And she said, you are getting really good. My mom, oh my gosh, is there anything better than your parent telling you that they're proud of you? Oh, oh my gosh, I was so, I just, I thought, thank you. I think I said thank you. I hope I said thank you. But um, yeah, that was the best compliment from her. I It just, it still means so much to me that she said that. Okay, I think that'll do it for Friday Sews. We are amassing quite a little group in our Friday Sews Facebook group. And those are all people who make the videos that are Friday Sews. So don't forget to check them out. Uh, do a search on YouTube and just filter it by upload date. You'll get all the most recent ones and you will find new people to watch all over. It's, it's just amazing. And P.S. One last life thing I wanted to tell you. It's eggnog season. 
I love eggnog. My husband introduced it to me when I was, well, I don't know, we were dating. And it's like a milkshake sweetness and a little bit of nutmeg. And especially good if you put some rum in it. So, oh, cheers. If you can, get it at Publix or Kroger because they've got the best. Well, if you ever want to see a list of my Friday sews, then by all means, check over here. And I think that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.